Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on stack bar graph. It says that Aptitude Jab has three subsidiaries: Vital Verbal, Lucid Logic, and Quick Quant. Their CEO sets the target for each of the three companies for every quarter. The graph shows the quarterly sales of the companies during a year in lakhs rupees, and the combined sales target of the three companies in these four quarters are. these so every uh, quarter they are uh, given some target and we do not know what is the target of the companies we are given the sale that they achieved okay we are given the total target total target of these three companies so we will have to figure out that what is the target given to each of the companies in the four quarters okay using these information so first thing is all targets were in multiples of rupees 5 lakhs so the sales is also in 5 lakhs in multiples of 5 lakhs targets will also be in the multiples of 5 lakhs in each quarter exactly one of the companies achieved 100% target while the other two companies achieved more than 80% but less than 100% target so in this case like if we see these three uh, these three sales only one of them is a 100% target other two are less than 100% okay uh now if we see the next piece of information it says ll and qq had the same target in q1 so let us start with q1 in q1 we have ll and qq had the same target in q1 this means indirectly means that ll cannot achieve 100% in q1 because if ll achieved 100% in q1 q will achieve more than 100% which is not possible so either q will achieve 100% or we will achieve 100% okay let us assume that v achieves 100% 100% target achieved now total target is 210 remaining is 135 now these two have the same target so if you divide by 2 it comes as 67.5 this refutes this condition that all targets were in multiples of rupees 5 lakhs okay so this means that uh, it is q that achieved 100% target here so this achieved 100% target now we are left with 150 so total is 210 okay so we have to Uh, allot 150 and this is okay we do not need to calculate this way because it is already given that these two are equal so 60 60 and this will be 90 so we are done with q1 okay now coming to the next one that uh, we'll do for q2 3 and 4 okay in the order ll achieved 100% target on two occasions the other two companies achieved 100% target on one occasion each so in this case we have already found out that it is q now l will achieve 100% target in two of these occasions one will be v there is one more condition it says the target of ll in q3 and q4 was the same now if you look at the target achieved uh, sorry the sales of ll in q3 and q4 we see that here at the sales is 55 here the sales is 65 if it had the same target in q3 and q4 and it cannot have 100% achievement here because if this is 100% 55 out of 55 this will be more than 100% so this means that it cannot have a 100% achievement here so this indirectly means that we will have the 100% target achieved in this month now we are given that ll achieved 100% target on two occasions so these are the occasions when ll achieved 100% target now the next thing that we will figure out is that how much was the target of each of these companies in these quarters because we know who has achieved 100% target we are yet to find out the target of these companies okay so if we look at the second quarter uh, we have let's first note the values 55 75 and 60 and i'll write the target here let me write the target in bracket so that this shows that these are the targets similarly in q3 
this is 70, 55 and 60. And in Q4, this is 55, 65, 65. In second quarter, we know that LL achieved 100% target. So this target was 75. Here we achieved 100% target. So this was 70 was the target. And here LL achieved 100% target. Now 75 is already filled. You have to fill 200. So we need to fill 125 in 2. Now we cannot put it as 55 because uh, like otherwise it will be 100. So we can have 60 plus 65. That is 125. If we make it 65, this will become 60. So there is only one possibility, 60 plus 65. So 60 lakhs is the target here. 65 lakhs is the target here. Okay. Next is this quarter. So 70 is already done. We have to fit 135. 135 and this is 55 and 60. So this cannot be 55 because 100% ho jayega. So we can have 60 and 75. Now if we look at 75, 60 by 75, that is equal to 80%. But we are given that it is more than 80%. So this case is not possible. Now next we can take is 65 and 70, which satisfies 65 less than 80, 70 less than 80. If we go further, let us say if we take 70 is the target for this company, then it cannot achieve 80%. So we have only one possibility that 65 is the target of this and 70 is the target of this company. Okay, so we are done with Q3 as well. Now last quarter, it is uh, 210 lakhs. This is 65. We have to put 145. Okay, 145 if we see, uh, we cannot, uh, we can take it, if we take it 60, then we will have 85, but at 85, it is not possible to be 80%. Okay, so we cannot take 60 and 85. We can take 65 and 80. If we take 65 and 80, 65 is uh, 80, more than 80%. This is also more than 80%. But if we take 70 and 75, just trying all the possibilities. If we make it 70, we cannot have 80% target achieved here. So this means we will get only one unique value here also, 65 and 80. So this target is 65, this target is 80. So this is how we have figured out all the sales target for all the quarters. Okay, now let us look at the questions. In which quarter did VV achieve 100% target? So this was Q3. What was the target in lakhs for QQ in Q4? So this is 80 lakhs. By how much did the target reduce for VV from Q1 to Q2? So in Q1, they had a target of 90 lakhs. And in Q2, they had a target of 60 lakhs. So there was a reduction of 30 lakhs. What is the least percentage target achieved by any company in any quarter of the year? Okay, so we will have to see these values where it is less than, uh, now this is more than 90. This is 83.33 here. In Q1 it is 83.33. 60 to 55, more than 90%. This is also 90%, more than 90%. Uh, 55 upon 65 that is 11 by 13 11 by 13 is it more than this 11 by 13 is approximately 84 percent right so 1 by 13 is around 8 percent okay so uh, this will be i guess 11 by 13 right so that is not the answer because we have already known 83.33 uh, 60 by 70, this is 85.71, right? So again, not the answer. So this cannot be the answers. Let's look at the last one. So again, this is 11 by 13. 55 by 65 is 11 by 13. 11 by 13 will be this percentage, 84.62%. Now there we have a value 65 by 80. 
so if you count 65 by 80 that looks quite low because 80 80 percent is uh, 64 now one out of 80 is one out of 80 is 1.25 percent so 65 by 80 is let's do this one so 65 that is 325 by 4 81.25 percent so this is the least percentage which is 81.25 percent which involved some calculation. So uh, this is how we solve this set and answer the questions. I hope you must have loved solving this set. So don't forget to like this video.